So you're investigating the potential cause of contamination and you prepared your slide and you're looking under the microscope and you've come across a speck of dust. How do you know that this is just a speck of dust or potentially an organism? What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Today, I'm in Sedalia on my farm in Colorado, and we are going to be doing and performing a gram stain, which is a tool used to investigate the potential sources of contamination. But before we do that, check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, for access to over 30 different strains of mushroom cultures. Link in the description below. So the basic idea of a gram stain is going to be dividing the population of bacterial organisms on Earth into two categories, gram positive and gram negative. So each living bacteria has a lipid bilayer that's encapsulating its cell. There's two potential options for an organism. If it's a positive charged lipid bilayer, or if it's a negative charged lipid bilayer, that will attract a primary positively charged stain or a negative secondary stain. So the principle of a gram stain is to differentiate these organisms between gram positive and gram negatives. Gram positives are gonna appear violet under the microscope and gram negative organisms are going to appear a pink or reddish color. All of these are the materials that you're going to need to perform your gram stain. We have our crystal violet solution, which is our primary stain. Then we have denatured ethyl alcohol, which is our decolorizer. We also have our uh, Graham's iodine solution, which that helps to degrade the lipid bilayer, which allows for any gram negative stain to be absorbed. And then we have our counter stain, which is our safranin solution. So these are stains. So I highly recommend wearing gloves unless you wanna walk around with blue or pink hands. And then also you're going to need a surface to perform the staining on. So I like to use a glass Petri dish. And then we're going to need a uh, something to draw the sample in. So I have a syringe here. So basically we're going to draw a sample from this old gross looking uh, liquid culture that I left the lid off and search for any contaminants. You're also going to need a surface to heat your slide or let it air dry, which is gonna take a really long time. So I like to use the uh, cooking top for my Presto pressure cooker and then setting it at medium to allow those cells to fixate. The procedure goes like this. First, we're going to take some of our solution and place it on a glass slide. So preferably a flat glass slide. So it will make a two dimensional service of those cooked organisms. So once we apply the sample, we're going to heat fix it on our stove top for about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, you'll start to see some white precipitate and then it will look caked on. So that means that your sample is fixed to the slide and it's not gonna come off when you add your stains. So then we are going to place a few drops of the crystal violet on the sample and allow that to absorb for one minute. So we'll set a timer for one minute and then we are going to rinse off with some water. So I have sterile water behind me that I'll load into another syringe and I'll rinse it off until the sample runs clear. So then we're gonna take our iodine solution and um, apply a few drops to the sample after we wash it off. And then that is going to break that lipid bilayer for any potentially gram negative organisms. So then we're gonna take our decolorizer, which is going to wash off any excess gram positive stain that would be remaining. And then 
we're gonna rinse that dry and dilute it with water so that when we add our counter stain, it will be absorbed by any potentially gram negative organisms. So I don't know what's going to appear on our sample, but hopefully we find something. Um, but I'll also just post uh, what you should be looking for with a gram positive versus a gram negative. Now, the next level of classification is going to divide those organisms into their shapes. So you will either have a cocci, which is a round spherical organism or a uh, bacillus, which is a, uh, a rod shaped organism. And that will further help classify. But just to start, the gram stain is the most critical step in your investigation. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on performing a gram stain. Check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, if you're looking for high quality mushroom cultures that have been procured and vetted by me. Until next time, much love.